I'm author Jane Davenport and I want to share my latest book with you. Marvelous Mermaids is full of one of my favorite subjects to draw and also one of my favorite subjects to teach how to draw because they undulate. Mermaids undulate through the water and the undulating line is a very important factor in the human body and it's emphasized in a mermaid but you're free of gravity and of having to make arms and legs and hair make sense. You've got a lot more latitude with uh, some of our little fishy friends. I'm going to take you into my studio and we're going to use the collage sheet that's in the back of the book. So there's stickers. I love stickers. But there's this collage paper as well. Super versatile and fun. Let's go and play. We're going to remove the collage sheet from the book and with a pair of scissors you can just snip out whichever collage element you want to play with. I'm going to pick one of the faces, this lovely octopus and a squid. And now that I've got some of these collage pieces we can have fun just auditioning them just to see what little ideas like Fancy octopus headdress when she's a mermaid after all. Squid beard maybe. This could be like the um, collar of a dress. Or she could have a little tiny bobble body. Or could this somehow be hair? Oh yeah. I'm loving this sort of like squid comb over. But maybe if it was more like that. And then I might just chop this little beak. Do squids have beaks? Whatever that is on the squid. And see, maybe this could be her collar. And she could be like a fine and fancy lady. But I'm liking this idea. Or maybe around this way, let's have a look. This is the fun part about collage is you can audition. I call this process auditioning. Uh, you can move the pieces around and let your mind's eye play with them. The next thing is to glue them down. So you can glue with a glue stick or you can use matte medium so i've got my own brand of matte medium but there's lots and lots of different brands of matte medium we're going to put matte medium underneath and then over the top and that will seal everything down you may detect a theme in my <laughs> in the art supplies that i design i love mermaids so I'm just going to put a few little drops of the matte medium, use my brush to spread it out, and then I can place the collage elements on top of it. You've got a little window of open time where you can wiggle them around. You can trim off any bits that just don't serve your purpose that are getting in the way. And it's better to work with just a fine layer of the matte medium. And if it dries, you know, while you're fiddling around with the collage, that's better than putting down way too much and making the paper too wet and making all the collage elements too wet. Because this is, this is tissue paper, it's very fine. And just remember when you layer pieces to add matte medium under all of it and over all of your pieces. So you're really sandwiching each individual element into place. And then we want to let this dry In completely. In Mother's Mermaids, there's a whole chapter on drawing hair all sorts of different types of hairdos and we're going to extrapolate uh, on that a little bit and one of the tricks or secrets that I go through in the book is the undulating line so what I like to do is hold my pen or pencil whatever I implement I'm drawing with hold it towards the back so I have less control and I'm going to pick up this line I'm going to be the hair and I'm just going to add some of my own lines. So th this, this strange little squid is going to become just part of whatever I create here. So it'll all evolve. Add another line there. I'm just going gently. And because I've got the matte medium over the top and it's dry, that's very important. I can also come in over the collage piece and add some other little details. This is a paint pen. So this is one of my ones. It's a color called Snow White. And just adding a little detail on there. And of course you can redraw over the collage pieces that are in the uh, book. You can totally draw your own. 
Uh, but this is just a fun technique to get you started. It's just, it's fantasy. Drawing is theatre. And oh, this is fun. I, I teach drawing in my online workshops. In fact, Marvellous Mermaids was actually born from one of my online workshops. Oh, I love teaching. I'm adding a variety of pen widths and I'm also adding some colour with one of my ladybug dotters. It's just got a nice blondish colour for the hair, adding a bit of texture. Of course, the book is full of ideas and instructions and techniques for constructing a mermaid body. I'm going to keep it really, really simple because to me, this looks like a mermaid that is, has given up her tail for the time being and exploring our wintry world. I'm just going to add some watercolour, give a little bit of a background in some neutral colours just to pick up on my little wintry feeling. In the back of the book is some instructions on how to use the collage sheet and there are lessons inside showing other ways of using them. And this is what happened today. And that's the joy of creativity. I'm doing a little bit of art and just having some fun. You just never quite know what's going to happen when you start creating. For example, this is another page that I created with the pieces from that same collage sheet. For this sassy little mermaid, I already had a coloured background that I created for her, placed the collage items on the top, matte mediumed everything down, and then just created around the collage pieces. I love creating books it's a very intense process especially for me because I illustrate write and design all of my books and my publishers are fantastic they really do give me a free reign and it's just so important for authors to have the support of amazing bookstores and kinakunya I mean is there a better bookstore than that going in there you just get lost I've done it many times myself and it's just been fun to be invited and to share my passion for mermaids, drawing and creating. Bye. <laughs>